Hey friends, happy Tuesday. How are you? I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday um, or are continuing to have a wonderful holiday if you celebrate Hanukkah. Um, happy Tuesday. I was not expecting to be here. We were supposed to still be out of town, but we got back late last night, um, a little bit early. So I decided we may as well do a show. So we're here. We're just throwing it together. It's going to be a little bit shorter because we weren't really planning on being here, but I ran to the market. And we got a lot of requests before I left for um, New Year's appetizers. So we're gonna do my favorite, um, we're gonna do my favorite appetizer. That's what we're gonna do tonight, which is a um, cheesy bacon stuffed. Hey Pat, how are you? It's a cheesy bacon stuffed uh, mushroom. It's ridiculously delicious. And I think you're gonna love it. It has converted many a, hey Luane, hey Jack, how? Hey Georgia, hey Valencia. It has converted many a non-mushroom lover to mushroom lover status. So, I think you'll be excited about it. Give me a second, let's go ahead and get our sharing going. Um, Kelly's not here yet, it's Tuesday, so um, she'll be here when she, when she'll get here when she gets here. <laughs> hi Melissa, hi Naomi, hi Ashley, hi Leah. All right, we're gonna do some sharing. It's gonna take a minute. Go ahead and grab yourself a drink, some popcorn. Um, yeah, so we're doing that. I did have a great Christmas. Thanks, Angelica. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, 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 Michelle. Okay, let's go ahead and get this shared, and then we'll do our tweet, and then we'll get going. How's that sound? Okay. And guys, tell me um, if it's your first time watching. Tell me if you've been here for a while. We are tributing to Carrie Fisher. I'm wearing my favorite Star Wars shirt and my TIE Fighter leggings because I can't even with the horrible news, but I can't. Ugh, Star Wars was the first movie I ever saw in a movie theater, you guys, so I'm really sad about that. On a, set, on, a, on a happier note, I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday. I really, really do. Like I said, we're going to be doing uh, my favorite New Year's, my favorite appetizer. Perfect for New Year's. It's one of these great ones that you can make ahead, a few days ahead, so you're not stressing out the day of the party, which I love. Hello, Fernando. Hi, Valencia. Hi, Jacqueline. Okay. And yes, we will be selling after the show. We'll be doing, we got TC leggings, woo, woo, so we'll be selling those after the show. And if you uh, wanna join us, I'd love to have you there. So give me a second. I'm kinda slow tonight, <laughs> out of practice. And Kelly usually does some of this for me, so. Okay. So how are we? Tell me if it's your first time watching or if you've been here a while. Hi, Shell. Hi, I keep saying hi, Valencia. Every Your name keeps popping up. So hi again, Valencia. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> hi, Beth. Hi, Jess. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Tammy. Okay, almost done. I've got such a depressing song stuck in my head. I'm not going to sing it because I don't want to get it stuck in your heads. But thanks, Constance. It was definitely the best one in the franchise. My personal opinion, also truth. <laughs> uh, okay, almost done, almost done, almost done. Thanks guys. I'm glad to see we have some Star Wars fans on. My nerd heart is sad tonight, it's very sad. Give me a second. Sorry, Kelly's not here right now. <laughs> Somebody just said I look like I'm losing weight. I wish that were true. I've gained about 20 pounds since October. Oops. Thanks, Melissa, for sharing, guys. I really, really super duper crazy appreciate it when you share. Um, that tells that that makes it easy for you guys to find it again later because you can just see it on your wall. It lets your friends know that you're enjoying the show, and it lets Facebook know that you're enjoying the show. And when Facebook thinks you're enjoying something, they tell more people about it. So I super, super, super appreciate that. 
All right. Okay, I think I think we're just about. I know, I'm um, super slow tonight. I'm sorry. Kelly will be here soon, and then she'll take over this stuff. But, 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 but. Okay. Sorry, I know I'm struggling today. I don't know what my deal is. But we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do a real simple um, appetizer, perfect for. New Year's Eve, like I said, it's one that you can make ahead, a day or two ahead. You can keep it in the fridge and just heat it up um, when you're ready, which is super awesome. Um, I was obsessed with it when I was pregnant with my third son, like obsessed. It was one of those things I always had a tray and I would just like take two or three and put them in the um, toaster oven. I'm not sure if that's something I should tell you or not, but it's true, so... that's everything okay we're gonna do our tweet we're gonna get going then we're gonna make this happen I'm gonna pull up my comments oh my goodness oh my goodness there's so much to do what are we drinking tonight I've got a yingling Woo. totes merkin I like yingling do you guys like yingling I think it's yummy that's not sponsored nobody told me to say that but hey yingling if you want to sponsor me that would be super cool too wouldn't mind it in the slightest okay let's see tweet I gotta get better at this too. Cooking, appetizers, with April, I uh, will just say, at space, I can't spell, space ships, and laser, laser beams on Facebook. Tweet, tweet, tweet. She rocks in the treetops all day long, hopping and a bopping and a singing a song. All little birdies on J. Bird Street. All right, I'm just pulling up my comments now. I know, I always get hate mail. Dude, she's always on her phone. Why is she on her phone the whole time? I'm on my phone because that's how I see your comments and that's how we interact. So it's super awesome. Okay, there you are. Tabitha says, oh my God, love the shirt. Thank you, isn't it cute? It was, I got it at Target a while ago. Hi, Jolene from Canada. Hi, Katrina. Hi, Lonnie. Wendy, my husband loves Yingling. Move to Tennessee just so we can buy it. Yeah, it's not available everywhere. I didn't realize that before. Um, I only recently learned that. And yes, it's a twist off, but I really love this shirt, so I don't want to rip a hole in it. And I also don't want to rip a hole in my hand, so that's why I'm using this. Okay, so hi, how are we? Cheers, guys. Thanks for being here. And cheers, Carrie Fisher. We miss you already. I'm too young for that song. You're never too young for a good song. Okay, so we're going to make... Sorry, I'm just going to scoot back and say hi to everybody. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Madison. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Erica. Hi, Corrine. Hi, Veronica. I know. It's a really sad day. Okay. So, I wasn't supposed to be here. I'm supposed to still be visiting my parents, so we weren't supposed to have a show tonight, but we came home early because my mom got sick, um, and we just weren't sleeping very well there. Kids were up all night. So we decided to come home early, and I figured since I'm home, I may as well do a show, right? So I had to kind of put it together really quickly. So we only have one recipe tonight, and it's a pretty quick one, but I think you'll still like it. It's fun. It's one of my personal, very, very, very favorite um, appetizers. It's inspired from a restaurant that we used to have here. It was a locally owned place um, that the owner passed a few years ago but and closed, but it was a... Um, it was called Bill's Elbow, if anyone's from the Central Florida area. It was a popular local hole-in-the-wall place. And no wine tonight. We're going with Yingling. We're going we're super classy. Um, and yeah, so it's uh, stuffed mushrooms. It's not the exact recipe that was at the restaurant. Actually, they released their recipe. Um, they, had it, they ran in the local newspaper um, years and years ago. Um, and so it's an adaptation of that one. Anyway, 
So we'll get to it. Get, I'm gonna wash my hands real quick and then we'll get everything out. And I said at the beginning, and it's true, this recipe, I know a lot of people don't like mushrooms, but this recipe has converted many a non-mushroom lover to at least loving this recipe, if not mushrooms on the whole. So, Jess Marie lives in Central Florida. Oh, me too. Yes, Yingling is yummy. Yingling is yummy. So, cheers, cheers. Thanks for being here. Those of you who are curious, yes, we are having a um, legging show after. Here, I'm going to pop the link for the leggings. We're doing tall and curvy leggings, TC leggings. Wah, wah, I have my TIE Fighters on tonight. And here's the recipe for the um, mushrooms. I'm going to pop that in the comments too. And if you guys are having trouble clicking, click share to your um, page and it'll make the links clickable on your page, okay? <clears throat> so, what is it like? It's a beer. Yeah, Yingling's just a beer. It's a beer. So we're going to use mayonnaise, um, shredded cheese, a really simple recipe, bacon. I know, I didn't even have time to do real bacon, so we're doing, I mean, it's real bacon, but um, it's pre-cooked. And there's nothing weird about that, I promise. Can you see my hands? I feel like, uh, what am I looking for? Mayonnaise, oh, mushrooms, duh. Mushrooms. I use the white, you can use whatever you like. We use like the white button mushrooms. Hi Kalina, how are you? Happy New Year Marjorie, hi Deborah. Okay, so we've got mushrooms, cheese, mayonnaise, bacon, and garlic salt is what we need. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna bring over a lidded container. I've got the oven on already, it's preheating. But like I said, you can make these in advance and keep them in the fridge for several days. So, um, I'm going to, I'll make a few in the oven so you guys can see, and then I'm going to hold on to some for later this week. So we're going to do that. So let's pull up the recipe and read it, and I'll let you know what's in it. How's that sound? There it is. Eight ounces of uh, bacon. So we've got bacon, 16 ounces of mushrooms, I bought way too many mushrooms, but that's okay, um, two cups of shredded cheese, I like the Mexican blend, you can use whatever you want, sea bear, it's so good, uh, three tablespoons mayo, and garlic salt, that's all there is to it, it's ridiculously delicious. So all we're going to do is we're going to, well let's clean our mushrooms first, You only, the recipe only calls for 16 ounces, but I think I might do a little bit of a shallower stuff so we can get more out of it. Thank you, Deborah. Deborah likes my kitchen. It's an Ikea kitchen. All right. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. Like I said, one of my favorite, aside from the fact that it tastes amazing, one of my favorite parts about this recipe is that you can make it ahead of time. It, it's, it stays in the fridge. You, um, you make it and you stuff them and then you put them in the fridge for, you know, three to four days, up to three to four days. And um, and then when you're just ready to eat them, you just bake what you need. So anyway, so let's go ahead and rinse these. And I'm sure somebody's gonna say, no, 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 you don't rinse mushrooms, you brush mushrooms. But um, those of you who love Elton Brown, raise your hand. Um, he did a whole experiment on rinsing mushrooms versus brushing them. And the outcome was that rinsing them, uh, was the outcome was that m mushrooms do not absorb liquid, so it is perfectly okay to rinse them versus brushing them. So that's why I rinse my mushrooms. Hopefully you can hear, hear any of what I said, because I just realized I had the, I just realized I had the um, sink on. You might not have been able to hear me. Thanks, Stacy. Could you freeze them? I probably wouldn't freeze them. I think that would really affect the mushrooms on a cellular level, I think, um, and it would make them mushy. I think it would break up the cellular membrane and, and cause a mushy mushroom, which is not what you want, yeah. 
I hate brushing. Rinse all the way. Yeah. Jamie loves the Alton Brown reference. Yeah. Nerd. Hardcore nerd in the house. All right. So we're going to take a sip of our beer. Hi, Sandra. I'm glad to be back, too. I had fun. I made a great holiday, but it is nice to be home. It is nice to be home. Okay. So we're going to pop the stems out. We love, thank you, Angela. Angela loves my shirt. Um, you want to carefully pop out the stems so you've got some place to stuff. I like to save my stems. I just cut them up and put them in stir fry. But if you don't want to, go ahead and stick them in your compost. Or if they refrigerate, don't they turn brown? Um, they'll oxidize a little bit, but when you bake them, they turn brown anyway. So it doesn't really make any difference. Where did I find my shirt? It's from Target. Um, and I got it a while ago, but I think they have them again. Sorry. Thought I was going to sneeze. Didn't happen. Um, anyway, I think they have them again because of the new Star Wars release. So, Rachel, we are rowing this evening. We have TC leggings tonight, so I'm super excited about that. Nicole has this shirt. Yay. Hi, Olivia. We are making stuffed mushroom appetizers. Super duper yummy. Joanne likes my kitchen. Thank you, Joanne. It's Ikea. Uh, saw you Snapchat. Love the PJs. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, if you're on Snapchat, make sure to follow me. I am Mommy Named April on Snapchat. I'm Mommy Named April on Snapchat, on Instagram, on pretty much all social media, Twitter, Facebook, all that fun stuff. If you type at Mommy Named April, you'll find me all over the world. Hi, everyone's here. Yay. Yay. So what was your favorite um, Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever it is you celebrate gift? This one doesn't want to come out. There it goes. Do we stay here for the leggings? No, Patsy, the leggings, we sell the leggings in a private group. And the link is in the description of this post. And I also, I put it in the, um, I put it in the comments as well. If you scroll back a little bit, you should be able to see them. Carol likes my eyeshadow. Thank you. It's about a 15-year-old Avon compact. <laughs> One of these days I'll upgrade and get some real grown-up eyeshadow, but for now I'm using my mom's hand-me-downs because, you know, I'm not really a grown-up. I'm going to check and make sure I've got my oven preheating. It's on, it's on, it's on. I don't know why it didn't look like it was on for a second. Luane says chocolates. Yay! chocolates are yummy. Nicole's excited to see how we make these. Yeah, they're yummy. So it's just mushrooms. It's really simple, but they're delicious and they're really rich tasting. Hi, Janice. I love having you here. My least favorite gift was pink guy from the grandkids. Yeah, I don't think that would be my favorite either. That's actually kind of why we left. My mother came out yesterday morning. She's like, I have a really sore throat. And I said, we'll see you next week. We'll see you next time. We're going to go. <laughs> That is not what I wanted to take home. Leticia says, I still have some Avon if it ain't broke. I'm t I love Avon makeup. I do. I'm not, I don't sell it. So there's, I don't even know anyone who sells it. Like, I don't even know where my mom gets it from. I'm pretty sure it's from when she sold Avon 30 years ago, but it's legit, man. I love it. The of glove. Oh, that's too funny. I've always wondered if they work. You're going to have to tell us how it works. Hi. Oh, is Kelly on? Yay. Hi, Kelly. Woohoo! Kelly can take over the sharing. Kelly, cross necklace for my daughter. Oh, that's nice. Hey, Brandon. Kelly, um, can you go ahead and throw up a link to the leggings group, please? Kimberly sells it. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah, I, I, um, one of these days I'll grow up and get some more makeup, but I always want to go into, like, those, um, I keep thinking I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Yay, Misty's going to make it this weekend. Guys, tell me, are you going to try this recipe? It's so good. You'll have to try it, but let me know. Hi, Maria. We're doing ba cheesy bacon stuffed mushrooms. Right now, I'm just removing the stems so that we have the caps to fill. Hi, Nancy. I'm glad to see you. Uh, we're filming. Joanne wants to know where we're from. We're filming in Central Florida, just about an hour north of Mickey Mouse. And... Um, I'm originally from Texas, Lackland Air Force Base. My dad was in the Air Force. And I just got new knives. I am so jealous. Um, 
what do you call it? I grew up mostly in South Florida, though. We were tra- we were transferred to Homestead when I was younger, and then my dad got out of the Air Force and we moved to the Fort Lauderdale area, and I that's where I mostly love Avon makeup too. It's good stuff, right? Good stuff. Anyway, I always want to go to like Ulta or those fancy ones, and we have one in our in one of our local malls. We have like sixteen local malls. I live in Central Florida, um, but we have one in one of the malls I go to pretty regularly. And I always, like, get right up to the entrance, and I'm totally intimidated, and I walk away. I can't do it. Like, I need... Hi, Carol. Carol lives in Tallahassee. Um, Tepper got wolf lounge pants. Um, that's fantastic. Hi, April. I have your kitchen, but mine is in the brown color. Oh, that's fun. Loretta's from Texas. Woo! Roxanne's daughter and granddaughter loved the holiday little row. Yay! My husband says his favorite gift was Darth Vader mug from his niece and a coffee pot I bought him. Awesome! Uh, we didn't really exchange gifts this year, my husband and I. Uh, we just went out and bought. I've been wanting a new grill. Ours, I finally killed ours. Um, ours was a hand me down that I used to death. <laughs> so we bought ourselves a grill for Christmas. So, yes, I was very happy with what I got. It's awesome. All right, so that's our stems. Like I said, you can, if you don't use them, go ahead and compost them or give them to a friend who'll use them or you could throw them away, but don't tell me you did that. Um, I'm gonna keep mine for stir fry. And now we've got our caps. I have twice as many in this bowl as the recipe calls for. I'm gonna do a shallow stuff, but they're meant to do kind of a, more of a heaping stuff. Um, but I want mine to, uh, I want, I don't know, just how I'm gonna do them. Just, it's just what's gonna happen today, guys. It's just what's gonna happen. Anyway. P.S. Hi. Hi. How are you? Okay, so let's put our mushrooms aside over there. Let's grab a nice clear bowl so y'all can see what I'm doing. Um, let's see. We need... Measuring cups would be helpful, right? Measuring cups would be helpful. Let's grab some measuring cups, some measuring cups, some measuring cups, I've got some measuring cups, some measuring cups. Okay. Stamps are perfect for soup. They really are. Constance got sick for Christmas. That stinks. All right. A Copper Chef deep frying pan. That's awesome. Natalie needs, oh, and you need me to teach you how to teach, do the Instant Pot. That's what I bought my mom for Christmas. I bought my mom the Instant Pot for Christmas. Um, and we actually had a lesson on it before I left. <laughs> we can definitely do more Instant Pot stuff. Okay, so we need, well, how much did I say? We need two cups cheese. Two cups of cheese. Sarah's sick too. Oh no! Cut up the stems for the filling and you'll have more. That's not a bad idea. I don't hate that idea. These are OXO. Aren't they cute? Kelly, do we have a link to the OXO measuring cups? I think we do. I think Kelly will throw a link in there. Happened sad in the army. My dad wasn't in um, for very long. I mean, he was not. I want to say like 10 years maybe. Uh, yeah. I need all the Instant Pots so I have one. They're not intimidating. I was so scared of mine before I used it, and then when I used it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so easy. So it's not bad. It's really not. You know, I love OXO stuff. Isn't it great? Okay. So we're going to... I do like the stem idea. I wonder if it would um, create too much moisture, though. Do you think... I, I worry that it would create too much moisture. That would be my... Um, issue. I got a slow cooker. Yay! Cheers. Just tuning in. Hi! We're making, um, bacon, cheesy bacon stuffed mushrooms. Alright, so then we're going to throw in our eight ounces of crumbled bacon. Normally I make my bacon from, like, I actually make it in the oven. We're cheating today. I was not supposed to be here. This is an extra bonus show. I was not planning on doing it tonight, so I totally cheated and just bought pre-cooked bacon. I, what I try to do, actually, is I try to always have um, the oven temp is 350. Um, I try to always just make bacon on my own and then throw it in the freezer, but I didn't today, so. I always finally dice the stems. 
and add it to my mushrooms to filling. So you don't think it'll, it will not water it down? I was going to use it for stir fry. We're making stir fry tomorrow, but I do like that idea. Cindy got Dutch oven baking stuff. Yay! Okay. And now we need, um, <clears throat> what did I say? Three tablespoons of mayo. I made the candy pretzels. Yay! That's awesome. Yeah, I hope she feels better soon, too. She was not feeling well when we left. Okay. She usually pops on at some point during the show. So one, two, oh, that's a heaping, three, three tablespoons. Hi, Norma. We're making cheesy bacon stuffed mushrooms. Sorry, right, splashing my hands real quick. I got a mayo on them. Debbie shared. Thanks, guys. I love it when you share. I super, super, super appreciate it. Um, if you want uh, easy access to the recipe later, click share. All the links are in the description, and that'll show up real um, front and center when you share it. So we're going to grab a spoon. We're going to give it a mix. Penny made the holiday popcorn. Bacon makes everything better, doesn't it, though? Oh, my goodness, it does. Visiting Wales for the holidays. Oh, lucky you. Nothing better than bacon except more bacon. I won't disagree with that. I will not disagree with that. So you wanna go ahead and uh, make sure everything's coated with the mayo. It doesn't need to be like soaking wet, but make sure everything's got a little bit on it. If, if you feel like you need to add a little bit more, you totally can. I'll tell you, the original recipe uses more than twice the amount of mayo I use in mine. So, I mean, if you want it like that, it's, it's not. Don't forget the garlic powder. Yeah, the garlic powder goes on top, but thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> my sick nine-month-old nine is in my lap. Oh, hi, baby. I hope you feel better. Okay, so I'm going to bring it over so y'all can see. Can I say hi to Benny? Hi, Benny. How are you? Thanks for being here. I made the graham cracker, marshmallows, and muddy buddies. Yay! Need a recipe for picky kids? So visit my website, mamalovesfood.com, M-A-M-A-L-O-V-E-S-F-O-O-D.com. Okay, so you can see it's it's not wet. Like, it's not a really wet, it's just lightly coated with some mayo to give it a little more flavor and a little deeper. Um, a little, it just, it makes it a little bit more, um, what's the word? Not savory. I'll think of the word in a minute. Can't ever go wrong with bacon and butter. Amen. Would love to try this recipe, but I've never tried mushrooms. Anything else? You could stuff this into anything. I have stuffed this into peppers. I'm going to grab my mushrooms over here that I put over. I have put it in peppers. You can put it in potatoes. You can put it in absolutely anything. Hi, Ashley. I'm glad you're here. Kelly's on her game with the links tonight. I don't even like mushrooms. I'm telling you, I have converted non-mushroom lovers with this recipe before. Okay, so we're gonna bring over our, this is also OXO, by the way. I'm kind of OXO obsessed these days. <laughs> All right. Yeah, makes it slightly moist, but not wet. I don't like bacon and I'm allergic to mushrooms, so you might wanna skip this recipe. <laughs> All right, so then you're just going to Stuff the mushrooms. That's really all there is to it. Stuff it, stuff it, stuff it. Now, the amount I gave you is enough to overstuff each mushroom if you use the amount of mushrooms that it says in the recipe. I've got more mushrooms, so I'm going to understuff mine just a little bit. It will still be delicious. I love mushrooms, so I don't want to overpower. My, my Christmas was good. How was yours? I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday. Luane loves mushrooms. Woo, me too, me too. What's the matter, Kelly? What's that face for? Olivia had a sore throat today. No, no. Great football food. Totally a good football food. Absolutely. So you can see I am not overstuffing mine. I'm like exactly stuffing mine because I want the stuffing to go farther today. But you're feeding hungry men then you can uh i tabitha is sitting here eating a bacon cheeseburger hamburger helper Ooh, that sounds yummy all right 
So this is what we're going to do for like the next few minutes. <laughs> I hope you don't have anywhere to go. Hi, Gina. How are you? All right. You could use a spoon, but I'm finding it's easier to use my hands. Yes, I did wash my hands more than once. Josephine had an awesome Christmas. Yay! Deborah doesn't like fungus, but I like watching you. Thanks, Deborah. Like somebody pointed out, you do not have to stuff this in a mushroom. If you don't want it in a mushroom, use a pepper. Stuff it in a potato. That would be delicious. Do you grease the pan? I do not grease the pan, no. There's enough moisture in the mushrooms that they're not going they're not gonna stick. Can we use big flat mushrooms? Absolutely. You can use whatever you like. These are just my personal preference. Hey Shannon, how are you? What do we have here? We have cheesy bacon stuffed mushrooms. Anything with bacon is good, amen. Oven temp is 350. Now when you prepare ahead, would you stuff then refrigerate? Yes, I stuff and then I put them in the fridge and then I take them out um, and cook them. Just however many I wanna cook at that time. I could do taters. Yep, taters would be good. Taters would be good. Vim and Dina is making them tomorrow. Yay! Hey, Vince. All right. Ah! They are amazing, Sheila. They are totes amaze balls. Yes, you could put it in a jalapeno. Am I baking them in the same dish? Uh, I'm not. I'm going to use this dish for storage because this one has a lid, but I could totally bake it in this dish. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. I just am not going to bake this many right now um, because I'm going to save some for, thing for Thanksgiving. We're a little bit past Thanksgiving, April, P.S. Can I just tell you? I'm going to save these for New Year's Eve, but um, can I just... I'm going to confession here. Big, big time confession. You ready? Um... We, ha we host Thanksgiving every year, which a lot of you guys know because we made a lot of our Thanksgiving recipes um, on live. And so we've got a really big patio on the back of our house. It's actually one of the main reasons we bought our house. Uh, we actually downsized our house, but it had such a great outdoor living space that we, um, we couldn't resist. So we ha I literally just deconstructed the Thanksgiving table this morning. It was killing me. We came home and I still had, I mean, it wasn't bad. Like we just had the table set up differently. It's not like we still had turkey out there, but um, yeah, I just cleaned up from Thanksgiving today. But at the same time, we cleaned up think from, from Christmas too. My house is de holified The actual holiday, ho de holiday vibe. <laughs> Hi, Kara from Australia. How are you? How long can you keep them in the fridge before they go bad? I would say three to four days is probably the most I would keep them. Um, yeah, the only holiday thing left is my husband, for whatever reason, put a sparkly um, fake jack-o'-lantern on our mantle. I'm not really sure why it's there, but I think he was giggling at himself. How long can you keep? Oh, I just answered that. We went to Disney World on Thanksgiving. I didn't cook. That sounds like fun. I know a lot of people that do that. We have friends that go on Super Bowl Sunday every year because they say there's no lines. Yeah, we usually go on Tuesdays or Wednesdays for the same reason, because it's the least the least crowded days. I might even get, well, yeah, I don't know. I'm, like I said, I'm shallow stuffing. The recipe gives you enough to do, like, big stuffing. Um, but I am shallow stuffing ours. The stuffed mushrooms will last 12 hours. <laughs> Bacon and cheese wrap sounds good, yes. Hi, Alexandra. We are making cheesy bacon stuffed mushrooms. What else will you be making? This is all we're making tonight. This is actually kind of a bonus show. I wasn't even supposed to be in town, but we came home early last night. So I figured I'm here. I may as well go ahead and um, do a show. So I just ran to the grocery store really quick and got some ingredients for my favorite appetizer, which is what we're doing right now. Hey, Callie. Angela says, I take my Christmas stuff down the day after Christmas every year. Yeah, me too. I mean, it's, I realize it's not the day after Christmas, but it's the day after we got back. We got back late last night, and the first thing this morning I t said to my husband, I'm like, we've got to get rid of the Christmas stuff. It needs to go, like, now. Looks yummy and simple. Yeah, it's really, really simple. Super easy. Karen says, it makes me think of Saturday night with the sweaty balls. Okay, so you know what's so funny about that, Karen? 
Um, we go to a Christmas party every year, in one of my uh, best friend's homes, and she has like a, a gift exchange, a naughty gift exchange, where, you know, you have to spend $20, and some people buy nice stuff, some, some people buy like goofy stuff, and this year I won sweaty balls, that's what I won, I won a box of sweaty balls. They were delicious. They were actually just Rice Krispie treats dipped in chocolate and salted, but <laughs> they were random. Suzanne leaves her tree up until after New Year's. Our holidays last until January 6th because we, yeah, a lot of people celebrate we, uh, Three Kings Day. Our Christmas stuff will go down tomorrow night after last family Christmas lunch. I don't take my stuff down until after New Year's. I leave mine until January. Can you use cream cheese instead of mayo? Um, I can't say one way or the other because I've never tried it. But if you try it, I'd love to hear. Hi, anime. I love Christmas. Going to keep mine up for a week. Yeah, I know a lot of people. My, I have an aunt that keeps it up to like March. It's just not my thing. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm the kind of person that when the holiday's over, I need it to be over. I'm just, I'm done. We need to move on. That's it. So, and I think part of it. The morning my Christmas decorations came down before my hubby came back from work. <laughs> um. Constance wants us to come take hers down. Nobody can swim. <laughs> Cute, Kelly. They say if you take your tree down before the New Year's, you'll have bad luck. Well, I mean, I've always done that. And I have not had bad luck yet. So let's go ahead and knock on wood. And hope that that doesn't not true. <laughs> Angela says she's used cream cheese. There you go. There you go. We start Christmas the day after Thanksgiving. Yeah, we exactly. We uh, we put our Christmas tree goes up usually the first one of the first week of of um, November. We have our Christmas tree up almost the entire month of November. So it's been up for two months. I'm good at that point. I am over the holiday. I'm glad to celebrate it. We have a big long lead up to it, and then by the time it's over, it's over. Okay, good. So I did these really shallow. What spices would you recommend to add this little cake? You could totally add some chipotle. I think that would be really yummy. Just a little bit of chipotle powder. Hi, Sarah. We are making cheesy bacon stuffed mushrooms. Okay, so like I said, I stuffed mine really shallow. These are the amount of stuffing the recipe gives you to make, makes like a heaping stuffing. I did mine shallow so I could do more. So I'm gonna grab, we have more mushrooms over here. I'm gonna grab them and rinse them and go ahead and do the rest of them. And um, actually, well, let's go ahead and throw some in the oven first so we can see how they come out. All right, give me one second. Let me just grab. This will work. This, this, that will do, that will do. Like this, I have the same pan, but the mini version. So let's go ahead and throw a few of these in here. And I'm, I'm not putting them touching, but you can totally stuff them in. You, they do not have to be, they do have to be single layer, but they don't need like, they're not gonna expand. So they don't need space between them or anything like that. So, but I don't wanna make it too many cause I'll just eat too many. Okay. So we've got our mushrooms and then we don't wanna forget. Hi Tammy from Savannah. Uh oh, we knocked a few over. I actually prefer to go ahead and put them in like super close because then they don't roll over. Hi Carrie from Morris. Okay, then just give them a generous, I'm serious, a generous sprinkling of garlic salt. This is not garlic powder, this is garlic salt. Okay, I'm gonna bring them over for you guys to see. You hear the puppies, yeah, walking along the, walking along the floor. Okay. We're gonna do bake at 350 for about 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna bring these over so y'all can see. Can you see? There we are. Can you see here? All right, I'm gonna put these in. And while those are cooking, while those are cooking, we will work on the rest of them. How's that sound? Bacon and crab meat. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Hi, hi Trina from uh, Kentucky. Melissa says it looks good. Amen. 
agreed, wholeheartedly agreed. Here, we'll put these in front of those right now. Torture, just torture. They're so good, you guys. They're so good. Oh my goodness. You guys have to, you know what I love? I love, well, I'll tell you that. Hold on. I love when people make my recipes and then tag me or post it to the wall. But if you're on like Instagram and you make one of my recipes, feel free to tag me in that picture. Like say that I am there with you. Hi, Samara. Hi, Bingo. Hi, Melissa. Okay. You're welcome for sharing. So I'm going to scoot these over. And we're just going to work on, let's see, we don't need this right now. Hi, Danielle. Do you know if you can use turkey bacon or veggie bacon? Um, my personal opinion is that that's an abomination. But um, I don't see why not. It, you know, the flavor is just what you're looking for. So if you like the flavor of turkey bacon or veggie bacon, then I don't see why not. You just want to make sure your bacon is fully cooked. Like, don't put raw bacon in it. This is cooked, crumbled bacon. I'm good. Thanks, Samaria. Sherry loved my singing on Snapchat. Yeah, we had fun with that. My kids were laughing their butts off at me. How long do they take to bake? 15, 20 minutes. Just want to get the cheese all melty and bubbly. Sarah's kosher. All right, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Go ahead and use a. Go ahead and use a different kind of bacon. Ah, uh, mad faces. Uh oh. Why do we have mad faces? What is that about? Lisa wants to know what kind of puppy I have. They're not actually puppies. Um, they are old little old dogs. Uh, but I have a Bichon and I have a Multi Poo, and they're old ladies. But there are babies. We still call them puppies. I didn't have to make any cookies. My good friend made a huge arrangement. Oh, that's awesome. That's amazing. So right now we're just taking the stems off. I'm just putting them in a bowl. I'm going to use them for stir fry tomorrow. If you use pepper instead of mushroom, it's the same time in the oven. Um, you really want to, it depends on how big your pepper is. If you do a small pepper, then yeah, it would be about the same. If you do a bigger pepper, you're going to want to cook it longer. Um, and you're going to want to make sure you have some way to stand it up, you know, so the cheese doesn't just ooze out. Um, angle biters, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it just depends on how cooked you want the pepper. So if it's a thicker walled pepper, like um, a jalapeno or a bell pepper type thickness, then you're going to want to be a little bit longer. What about using sausage? Ooh, that would be yummy. What are we cooking? Hi, Kathleen. We're making cheesy bacon stuffed mushrooms. I can't find you on Snapchat. I am mommy named April. M-O-M-M-Y-N-A-M-E-D-A-P-R-I-L. Somebody stole Mama Loves Food before I could get it, which is super lame. Whoever stole it. Thanks a lot. Nice to meet you too, Carly. Thanks for being here. Uh-oh. I got a stuck stem. There it goes. All right, do we get all our stems out? I think we do. All right, let's continue stuffing. So in the bowl we've got, this is just stemless mushrooms, and then in this bowl we've got shredded cheese, cooked bacon bits, and mayo. And I'm late, can I repeat the recipe? Yes, we've got, it was two cups of shredded cheese. I used a Mexican blend. You can use whatever you prefer. Uh, eight ounces of cooked bacon bits, crumbled, um, can so put it in the comments. Yeah, someone, Kelly put the Snapchat in the comments for you. And um, three tablespoons of mayo, well mixed. And then you stuff them into mushroom caps or whatever else you want to stuff. And, um, and then you sprinkle with garlic salt. And then you bake them. Uh, Kathleen, yes, the recipe is on my website, mamalovesfood.com, M-A-M-A-L-O-V-E-S-F-O-O-D. If you share this video to your wall, click share, um, share to your wall, 
And hi, Quinn. How are you? Hi, Connie. Uh, if you click share to your wall, you'll be able to see the um, links to the recipe. We'll be right there. Ch Cherry's going to make this New Year's Eve. Yay! And like I was saying at the beginning, um, the recipe makes a lot of stuffing because you're supposed to like mega stuff them. Um, but I'm kind of understuffing mine, so my filling will go farther. So that's fine. All right. I'm definitely making these, but do you need the garlic salt? Because you make it without that. You could make it without that, but I personally think it's like a, it just bring it, it just adds to it. It's really, really good. I wouldn't personally skip the garlic salt. I really, really wouldn't. Hi, Rochelle. Hi, Rochelle's 12 year old daughter. How are you? Thank you, Carly. Cherry loves mushrooms. Me too. Me too. So good. I made sausage and cream cheese stuffed mushrooms for Christmas. That sounds yummy. Yay! Cherry says we're gonna, she's going to make this New Year's Eve. How long have I made these? How long have I been making them? For years. 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 This is one of the earlier recipes from my website. I think we put this... I think this has been on the website since like 2010 maybe. Hi Dana, I'm so glad you're here. So we've got nine more minutes on the ones in the oven and we're just about done with these. Definitely better late than never, Dana. I totally agree. I totally agree. And those of you who are curious, yes, we are having a legging show after, um, a LuLaRoe show after the cooking show. Hi, Sandra. How are you? Merry Christmas. Um, so you'll have to switch over to Mama Loves LuLaRoe after. Takes me about 15 or so minutes to get set up for the show, so... You should try cheddar and chorizo jalapeno poppers wrapped in bacon. That sounds amazing. Not gonna lie, that sounds fantabulous. Anything other than leggings tonight? No, Sarah, we're just doing leggings tonight. Honestly, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna do TC leggings since it's already gonna be a late night. And um, yeah, I think probably, I don't know. I don't know. I only have TC leggings prepared as of right now. Can I have the full recipe? Yep, yeah, Cherry, click share, um, share to your wall, and the recipe will be in the links in the description. Yes. Well, I really, either I, well, I mean, I know I got smaller mushrooms than usual, but I guess I really did understuff. <laughs> You're welcome, Sarah. All right. That stuffing went a lot farther than I expected, which is a good thing, not a bad thing. Oh, that one's still got the stem in it. There we go. Yay for TC! Okay. We'll go ahead and overstuff a few of these then. Thank you, Dana. Dana says she always shares. We appreciate that. We appreciate that. All right. So I'll show you how these are kind of meant to do. You're meant to kind of like overstuff them and they will melt into the tray and they'll make a big soupy, amazingly disgusting mess. And then you kind of scoop the mushroom with all the stuff. So that's kind of how they're meant to do. I just, I did mine more of a level stuff, but that way I can get more out of it. We'll go ahead and overstuff a few last few. TC tall and curvy size 12 I'm um, size 14 to 22 can you freeze them I would not freeze them because I think that would um, break the cellular membrane of the um, mushroom and make it when you defrost it would make it really mushy uh, but if anybody tries it I would love to hear if you had success because that would be awesome if you could I generally just um, refrigerate mine for three or four days and when I'm um, when I am refrigerating them, I don't put the garlic salt on until right before I bake. Because I don't want to draw the moisture out of the mushrooms. What else do I serve them with? Um, I just do, this is just an appetizer. So, I mean, you could do it as a side dish with steak. Can you imagine these with steak and like roasted broccoli? Oh my gosh, I think I know what's going to be on my, <laughs> on my menu for, um, 
New Year's Eve steak and stuffed mushrooms and roasted broccoli. That's what's happening. Um, yeah, I put other appetizers normally I would put out with them. I would put, so right before you bake, you're going to want to give a very generous helping of garlic salt over the top. And you don't want to bake like this. Like I've got double layer right now. You want to do, it can be stuffed full, but single layer. So, but these are going in the fridge. And we've got five minutes left on those ones in the oven right now. What time is it here? It is, um, that's a very good question. I don't know. Uh, 9.23 here. It is 9.23. So I'm going to put these in the fridge. And these will be good for, like I said, three to four days. So you could take a couple out at a time and do it. Or, you know, wait till you have guests and do them all then. And super simple. Just don't forget the garlic salt when you cook them. Because that really does add a really, a nice, nice, um, it adds a really nice finishing flavor to it. So, look at all those hearts. Jennifer's birthday is New Year's Eve. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, it's an early night. Um, we weren't supposed to be here tonight. Tonight was kind of a surprise extra episode. I was supposed to still be out of town until tomorrow. So, um, what are we drinking? I'm drinking Yingling. Cheers, guys. Cheers. And, um my tribute to Carrie Fisher with my TIE Fighter leggings. I feel really bad about what happened. What kind of beer? Uh, it's Yangling. Yes, yes. You don't have to put them three to four days in the fridge. They, you can cook them right away. I'm just saying if you want to cook them three to four days later, you can. So, my daughter's birthday was today. Happy birthday to your daughter, Shannon. If you make the bacon for the recipe, how much do you use? Um... Half a pound of bacon. Half a pound. <clears throat> Let's get this out of the way. We've got three and a half minutes left on the timer. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna peek at these and see how they're doing. Since we just put a few in. Oh man, they look amazing, you guys. Holy moly, they smell good too. I might have steak for New Year's Eve day too. Um, that's definitely happening. I need to go to the market tomorrow and get some good steaks. Hello for Beaver Meadows, Pennsylvania. Hi, Debbie. So sad about George Michael. I know. We lost two amazing people this week. Sucks. Um, yeah, really sad. Really incredibly sad this week. So, um, dear 2016, give it a rest. Give it a rest. Let's go ahead and wipe our table down. What do you do for New Year's Eve? We uh, we really don't do anything. We kind of, I like to keep it, I like, I'm terrified of drunk drivers. Like legit, horribly, completely terrified of drunk drivers. So we don't go out on New Year's Eve. We usually go out during the day. So this year we actually have a kid's birthday party during the day. Um, so we'll do that and that's early. And then um, we'll just stay home. We'll probably do some firecrackers in the backyard. And um, if our friends want to come over, they're welcome to. But we won't have a party or anything. We're usually in bed by 10. Okay, that's not true. I'm never in bed by 10. But we're usually, like, calling it a night by 10. <laughs> what do you guys do? I'm curious. How do you make sure your steak is just is done just right on the grill? Um, lots of practice. I actually like to cook mine. I was actually telling my brother-in-law about this the other day. We cook mostly really cheap steak because we have five kids and I can't afford to buy the good stuff. And what I do is I will buy our steak. Hi, Susan. Um, I will buy our steak the really, really cheap stuff, like the bottom round meant for, like, stewing. And I'll cut it into steaks. And, um, sorry, give me one second. I will cut it into steaks and then um, freeze it. And um, when, when I'm ready to cook it, I take it out not much beforehand. And I will, um, I'll thaw it maybe in some water for like half hour, 40 minutes. So it's still mostly frozen. And then I put it on the grill on a, on a high heat grill almost frozen and I use a, like my favorite marinade. I have a couple marinades that I really love 
and I will midnight skiing. Oh my gosh, skiing in itself, in and of itself, is terrifying to me. So midnight skiing, I can't even right now. Um, but I'll I will stand at the grill and I will baste it over and over and over again so it gets a really nice glaze until it's cooked internally to how I like it. Hi Vanessa. And um. Yeah, and it makes your like cheap, cheap, cheap cut of meat taste so good. The neighbors are doing a fire in their fire pit and invite us over. That's awesome. We might, if it's nice out, we might put a fire in the fire pit. Am I from Australia? No, I'm from um, the United States, Florida. Sore lion steak is not good marinated. Is good marinated, not near as expensive. Yeah, we use the cheap stuff. I use like the four dollar pound stuff. Lots of traditions for New Year's Eve. We count 12 grapes and eat them 12 seconds before 12, making a wish with each one. Oh, that's fun. That was our timer. Should we get it out? Yay! I always block the drawer with my oven mitts. Come on, oven mitts. There we go. I hear you. Okay. Cancel, cancel. Oh my goodness, these look so good, you guys. If you want them browned on top, you could totally turn the broil broiler on for a minute. I don't personally see the need, but you could do that. Hold on, I'm coming around. Well, actually, that's not true. I'll show you right here. Look at those. Now, like I said, if you overstuff them the way the recipe calls for, they will drip out and make an oozy, amazing, gorgeous mess. Um, but I understuffed mine today. We are in Central Florida, yes, about an hour north of Mickey Mouse. So, let's grab a cute little plate out and a cute little fork out. Somebody says it says broadcast interrupted. Is anybody else having that problem? Because on my end it says we're, we're good. Betty says, last week there was a sale on sirloin roast, $3.99 a pound. I bought three and cut them into steaks. That's fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Don't be jealous. It's hot here. It is hot. We don't get, we never get a break. Okay. Okay. Let's bring these over. Oh, my goodness. Look at that melty deliciousness. Oh, my goodness. Can you guys see? Sorry. I don't want to go flying off the plate. I'm trying not to. You like my super nice nail polish job? Super classy. I'm telling you, I wasn't planning on coming on tonight. <gasps> Look at that cheese, you guys. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's super hot, so I don't want to burn myself. How far am I from Stewart? I am about... I'm trying to think of Stewart. Is, is Stewart north of Fort Pierce? Stewart south of Fort Pierce, right? So I'm about two hours, probably hour and 40 between hour and 40 and two hours so hot I don't want to burn myself mmm you guys holy moly oh my goodness mmm okay a couple things one like I said in the recipe calls for overstuffing also delicious also I did that on the lower lower end of the cook time 15 minutes so it's still raw is not the right word because not raw but it's still got that real mushroomy flavor to it if you want it if you want it more cooked and softer do it on the 20 to 25 minutes this is how I like them because they still have um, they still are a little bit firm, which I personally like, but I know some people like them more like super mush, which is fine. Mmm. So good. Yes, Carrie Fisher, I know. Ugh. Poor thing. So who's gonna make it? Anybody? 
It was super simple. We used white mushrooms, but you could stuff anything. You could stuff a potato. You could stuff a pepper. You could stuff whatever you want. Um, we used small white mushrooms. I used shredded cheese. We chose just a Mexican blend, um, which I personally like, but you could use cheddar. You could use uh, Monterey Jack. You could use whatever you prefer. Um, so in the mushrooms, it is shredded cheese, cooked bacon, and um, mayonnaise. You stuff it into the mushroom, you sprinkle it with a heavy dose of garlic salt, and you bake it at 350 for about 20 minutes. And you get these amazingly, look at this, look at this. This is just like, this is total food porn, you guys. Look at that. So good. Shell doesn't like mushrooms. That's all right. We forgive you. Yes, I use bacon bits. Normally I make the bacon ahead of time and chop it, but I didn't have time right now. Um, how do I think it would be if I used cream cheese? I don't know. I haven't tried it, but I imagine it would be tasty. Glad you're back. I'm glad I'm back too, Darla. Thanks. I'm glad you're here. Um, Brenda, I, what I was saying at the beginning was with, when I was pregnant with my third son, I literally, like the whole pregnancy, I had these in the fridge so I could just make them all the time because um, these were like my thing during that pregnancy. <laughs> Veronica's going to try adding sour cream. You guys, if you change the recipe up, come back and let us know how it was. I'd love to hear um, how your tweaks turned out. Um, yeah, it's funny. My, um, my son does not like mushrooms at all. <laughs> my other kids do. But um, anyway... So you guys, thank you so much for being here. I know tonight was a shorter night than usual, but um, I'm glad we popped on. This was not a planned. Um, can you cover with a cheese in the oven? I'm not sure what that means. Um, yeah. Have a great night, you guys. If you want to um, watch the sale or join in the sale, we're at Mama Loves Lula Row after this in about 20-ish minutes. And I'd love to have you there. Please make sure to like my page, Mama Loves Food, on Facebook. Um, we're on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we are we cook all kinds of things. We're probably going to get a little bit healthier as in the new year um, when everybody's looking for salads and stir fries and that kind of stuff. Can I sprinkle with Parmesan cheese? Go for it. Sure, why not? Um, what else? We will be here Thursday not sure what we're gonna make on Thursday yet. I was thinking maybe a soup. Anyway, if you enjoyed the show, if you tuned in late, go ahead and click share, share to your wall. You could put cheese on top, pop in the oven. They're full of cheese. I'm a little bit confused about what we're talking about, but okay. Um, how do you spell Lularoe? L-U-L-A-R-O-E. Kelly will put a link up um, so you can get right there. Um, yeah, make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Mommy Named April, Twitter, Mommy Named April, Instagram, Mommy Named April. If you make any of our recipes, I would really love if you posted them to the Facebook wall or tag us on Instagram or Twitter. Um, have a wonderful night, guys. Thank you.